Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Poundland haul video. All the makeup that I got is drugstore brands and I'm going to be showing you the price I would have paid in the drugstore compared to what I paid in Poundland. Poundland is a shop in the UK that's similar to Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Not every single thing in Poundland costs a pound, but the vast majority of the things in the shop do. It sells everything from food, stationery, kitchen accessories, toys, toiletries and cosmetics. And the one where I live also sells clothes. Poundland have their own cosmetics range and I've previously made a video where I tested out Poundland makeup. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Not everyone knows that Poundland also sell branded cosmetics and you'll find those hanging on the wall in these silver packages. These can be quite hard to look through because sometimes they're really packed tightly on the wall and they go quite far back. So to find something that you want, you have to dig through quite a lot of them and it can take some time. But I think you'll see it's worth it. Similar packages to these can also be found in B&M Bargains. A few weeks ago I got this Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara from Superdrug and it was £8.50. And then a few days later I went into B&M Bargains and I found the exact same mascara in one of these packets for only £3. If you would like to see the review on this I'll also leave the link in the description box below. If you're aware of any other stores that sell these let us know in the comments section. Sometimes these stores sell these items at such a discounted rate because it's old stock, overstock or it's discontinued. But that doesn't bother me. If I like it, I'm going to buy it. I can't imagine any of my friends coming up to me and saying, oh my god, you're wearing Barry M nail polish for two years ago. That's embarrassing. And if you've got any friends like that, then maybe you need to get some new friends. The first package that caught my eye was this twin pack of Barry M nail paints. At the moment they're selling two Barry M nail polishes for £6 in Superdrug or you can buy one for £1.99 in TK Maxx. I paid a pound for this and all the other packages that you're about to see. In the end I got four Barry M nail polishes. As far as I know none of these are available in Superdrug so I added up the total that I would have paid had I found these in TK Maxx. And in total I would have paid £7.96 for the four of these and from Poundland I paid £2. I'm just going to quickly swatch these for you and tell you the name shades. Lately I've been buying a lot of Barry M nail polish and I'm quite impressed with it. My nails today are so cute. I don't know if you can see that but if you're interested in seeing more of my nail looks I'll leave the link for my Instagram in the description box below. I'm just going to swatch these on paper to give you an idea what one coat might look like. The first one is a stunning multi-chrome called Purple Hex. On camera that looks more blue and purple. But in real life, it's also shifting between orange and pink. Not bad for 50 pence. I don't know if this will pick up on camera, but this has got a really stunning blue shimmer all the way through it. That is going to look amazing on my nails. This one is called Black Grape. When I first picked this up, I originally thought it was just black. But looking at it in the light, I can see that it's got a blue or purple tinge. Here's what this looks like on paper. Oh, that's actually really blue. I'm quite glad about that because I already have a Black Barry M nail polish. I just thought I would pick another one up because it was only costing me 50 pence. But that is a really nice colour and that will be nice for some of my Halloween nails that I'll be doing. These next two colours aren't ones that I would usually wear. But I've been trying a lot of nail art lately so you never know when they might come in handy. This one's called In A Heartbeat and this one is Winning Streak. This is In A Heartbeat. I don't usually wear pink. But I've been doing Spongebob nails lately and I'm planning on doing one that's Patrick's face so that might be quite a good colour for that. And this is Winning Streak. Again, it's a nice colour. I don't think that I'm going to wear this one. I'm going to have to either give this to my niece or one of my friends. Let me know in the comments section if you like any of these colours and what one's your favourite. Next I picked up this Max Factor Coal Eyeliner in shade Cobalt Blue. And I accidentally picked up two of these, but I was fine with that because blue and purple eyeliner are two of my favourite colours to use on the waterline. I wasn't able to find these exact versions in Superdrug. They seem to have the updated version, which is the Masterclass version. But I did find them on Amazon for £2.99 each. So I would have paid £5.98 and I ended up paying £2. I haven't swatched any of these items yet, so as I'm swatching them, we'll be seeing them for the first time together. Quite a nice colour, I just hope it works on the waterline. 
This next item is quite confusing because when I picked it up in the shop, I thought it was mascara. Then when I was looking up the price, it said online that it was an eyeliner. So I took off the plastic protection and I opened it up just to see what it looked like. I don't see how that can be an eyeliner. It screws up, but then once that goes blunt, I would imagine you're supposed to sharpen it. I don't really know how this is going to work. If you have any idea, please let me know in the comments section. So this is called Rimmel 24 Ultimate and it's also waterproof and as you've just seen it looks like a crane. It feels really soft and it's obviously pigmented. You could probably use this as an eyeliner if you're wanting a really thick line but other than that I'm not really sure how you would use this. I mean it goes on so easily and then you'd maybe be able to smoke it out or something. But... And honestly, I don't really have a clue how I'm going to use this, but I'll definitely give it a try. At the moment, this is still available in Boots for £5.99. Next, we have these three Aston nail polishes. To be honest, I don't know if this is a drugstore brand or not. I can't really find it anywhere online except eBay and Amazon, so I don't know if this is an American brand or from another country, but I thought I would include it anyway since I bought it. Just in case you are familiar with this brand, They've got a lot of cosmetics in Poundland from eyeliner, mascara, foundation. So if it's a brand you like then you might want to check it out. I basically bought these three for this one red shade because I thought it might look good with some of the Christmas looks that I've got planned. I'll either give these two to a friend or my niece. The only place that I found these for sale online was Amazon and they were £2.99 for three. This shade is called Pink Muffin. You can hardly even see that on there, but I suppose it might be nice to use on a French manicure or something. This is Trendy Cosmo, which is a baby pink with a really nice pink shimmer glitter all the way through it. It's actually not too bad. If I was the type of person who wore pink, I would definitely keep a hold of this one. This is Sweet Sangria, a really nice red with some stunning red shimmer through it. And that is going to look so good for some of my Christmas looks. I'm planning on doing some... Mickey and Minnie Mouse Christmas nails with snowflakes and Christmas trees and it's got to be so nice. If you want to see that, you can check it out on my Instagram. I also got this Rimmel Ink Me Liquid Eyeliner and I actually have this in black and it's amazing. My friend bought it for me so I don't know how much he paid. When I looked this up online, I couldn't find it in any stores but it was available on Amazon for £2.99. This is just in shade gold. I wear gold eyeliner quite a lot so I'm expecting this to be quite good. I love the applicator brush. There you go. I think you'll agree that's stunning. And for a pound, that is a total bargain. Next, I got these three Revlon nail enamels. At the moment, you can buy nail enamels in Superdrug for £6.49 each, or you can find them in TK Maxx for around £3. The first one I'm going to swatch for you, I've actually owned before, and I love the colour of this. This is shade Socialite. If you watch this channel often, you'll know that I wear light blue nail polish a lot. Two coats of this looks absolutely stunning. And then I'll top it off with a holographic top coat. This shade is called White on White. And I don't know why I'm bothering to show you this on paper because it is literally going to be white on white. And you're not going to see it at all. Pointless. This one is called Dead and Graffiti. I've got no idea where I'm going to wear this, but I just thought that I would try it for a change. This next brand is one that I was really shocked to see in Poundland and this is the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eyeliner. I've got this in black and if I'm not mistaken I think I paid almost £6 for this. This is in shade Blue It Yourself and this is still available in Boots for £4.99. Here's what the pencil looks like. This is one of those pencils that's like plastic and then it's got the soft eyeliner coming out the top. It says here that this shade is called Blue It Yourself, but to be honest, that is so dark, it almost looks black to me. And as I said before, I've got this eyeliner in black and it's really good, so £1 for this is a bargain. Next, we've got the Maybelline Master Ink Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in shade Twilight Purple. And I couldn't find this in Boots or Superdrug, but I did manage to find it online for £2.79. That is 
really, really stunning. I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually shifting between purple and blue. It's like a multi-chrome eyeliner. I'm really impressed with this. This has dried down pretty quickly and I think that looks amazing. I'm definitely going to go back to Poundland and see if they've got these in different colours. It doesn't say on the packaging that this is waterproof, but I just tried to get it off with a makeup wipe there and it did take a while to come off, which in my opinion is a good thing. Let me know in the comments section if you would like to see reviews on any of these products. Now we're on to the final two items and I'm just going to show you these together even though I bought them separately. And the first one is the Sinful Colours Red Nail Polish and this L'Oreal Nail Polish in orange. Sinful Colours Nail Polish is normally available in TK Maxx for around 2 99 And I managed to find this L'Oreal one for £2.50 plus £1.95 postage and packaging. So that would have made this £4.45. I don't think I would pay £4.45 for this, but thankfully I only paid a pound for it. The Sinful Colours one is in a 15ml bottle and it's in shade Ruby Ruby. And once again, I just bought this to do some Christmas looks. Red nail polish isn't something that I wear a lot, but I am planning on wearing it quite a lot over the next few months. And finally, the L'Oreal one is in a 5ml bottle in shade Colour Richie. I'm shocked at how nice that looks. Normally, I don't really buy plain coloured nail polishes, but I thought that this would look nice with some of my Halloween looks that I've got coming up. And I'm quite impressed with that colour, it looks really nice. After adding all these items up, I had bought these nail enamels from Superdrug for £6.49 each. In total, for all of this makeup, I would have paid £60.60. £60. However, I think that some of these, or all of them, are old stock. So I added it again after they got them from TK Maxx. And these are normally available in TK Maxx for around £3 each. So in total, I would have paid £50.13. However, as you know, I got all of these from Poundland. And in total, I paid £14. Now, if that's not a bargain, I don't know what is. The items that I'm most looking forward to using are these two liquid eyeliners and this Aston nail polish. I went over this paper with a second coat and that red is stunning. I wish you could see the shimmer that's all the way through this bottle. It just looks beautiful. I'm really pleased with these three blue eyeliners because you can never have too much blue eyeliner. And I'm also looking forward to using this Barry M nail paint. Let me know in the comments section what your favourite item was. Also, let me know if you want me to review any of these items. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're interested in seeing future videos, hit the notification bell so that you're notified as soon as I upload a video. And thanks for watching. Bye!